time for the Woodlawn Hospital Report. And, well, we are just blessed with all sorts of people in uh, here today. Uh, we've got Brad Rogers, we've got Alan Fisher, and they brought us guests to introduce. So, gentlemen, I will let you take it away. You know, Alan and I decided we would bring um, maybe someone a little more interesting each month. Um, but really, we wanted to give the community a, a bigger snapshot of who we are and start bringing in department directors, um, department staff, um, to show all the things that Woodlawn does and, and get, a, get a chance to talk to those people. So today we have two people. We have Molly Hardesty, our Director of Medical Imaging, who's here. Uh, and she normally comes this time of year every year and has a little bit of a talk with us. And then we have Krista Booster, our new Director of Marketing. So ladies, please take it away. Welcome ladies. Thank you. It's good Thank to be you. here. And of course Molly, we've talked mm -hmm. uh, several times in the past. And uh, Krista, welcome. Thanks. I'm excited to be at Woodlawn. Well, we're glad to have you here. Uh, so now I know um, we're a few days early, but uh, October is mm -hmm. Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and that's what brings you in, Molly. Yes, yes, and thank you for having me. Um, as uh, many people know, breast cancer um, awareness is a big, big deal in October. We promote as much as we can in the community and in the um, organization. We do a lot of fun things for our employees, um, trying to encourage um, our female employees that are of age to get their mammogram each year. Um, so yeah, we've got, you know, you'll be seeing a lot of people wearing pink shirts if you come into the hospital and just promoting um, to our community. So I do have some facts I want to share. Um, one in every eight women will develop breast cancer within their lifetime. Um, this year there's an estimated over 43,000 women that will die from breast cancer. Um, on average, every two minutes a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States. Men can also get breast cancer. So if a man is feeling a lump or um, having nipple discharge or anything, they should definitely go see their doctor. Um, early detection of breast cancer greatly increases your survival rate. Um, ACR, American College of Radiology, recommends that you have your mammogram um, after turning age 40. You have one every year and insurance will pay for that. Um, if you, you don't need a doctor's order um, or a referral to do that, you can just call us and schedule your appointment. Um, however, if you're having symptoms, um, like I said, a lump, pain, discharge, anything like that, you do need to check with your physician first before you come and see us. Um, we do offer 3D mammography, so um, I've talked about this before, but just um, if anybody's unfamiliar with that, it takes small slices of breast tissue, and it's kind of like if you think about flipping through pages of a book, and you can see... Um, smaller sections of the tissue and uh, better visualize really, really small lesions. So then if you detect them early and you treat them early, your survival rate is much higher. Um, and we have seen people who miss their yearly mammogram and when they come in, the, they, we do find something sometimes and the lesion is larger than we would have found before. So we really encourage for people to get their annual mammogram. Um, I don't want to admit this, but I'm actually turning 40 this year, uh, <laughs> tomorrow actually, so I will be getting my mammogram um, coming up and I'll be getting it every year because it's uh, that important to, to me and to the um, healthcare providers you know, who work at the hospital. Um, there are a few ways that you can reduce the risk of breast cancer. Um, be physically active, maintain a healthy weight, eat fruits and vegetables you all the time you know, from your um, doctors. And unfortunately, there is, uh, it does say that limiting alcohol can actually um, reduce your risk. So, I know, I know right? <laughs> Who wants to do that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So lots of good facts there. Um, and one thing I think a lot of people don't realize is that uh, men can actually get mm -hmm. breast cancer. Um, so I thought that was a nice little added feature there because mm -hmm. that's overlooked a lot of times, you know. They just think, oh, well, it's a, a, it's a woman's disease. I don't have to worry about it. And really, guys, you do. Yeah, and we do, we see one or two males a year come through that are having symptoms. And okay. So. All right. Now, um, would you suggest men over 40 getting it checked yearly or just uh, insurance only, yeah. doesn't yeah insurance doesn't cover that it's only if they're having symptoms okay yeah. all right so because uh, it's rare it's not it's more rare than right women. yeah right. so guys uh you know check yourselves just mm -hmm. like the ladies do and uh, you can always have your significant other check as well i know uh that's something that's suggested sometimes um we'll hear doctors say you know have your spouse mm -hmm. check for you and they might not mo might notice something you don't yeah, you should, um, women should do monthly self-breast exams too. Okay. Uh, that's really important. That way if you feel a lump or something abnormal, you can see your doctor and get it taken care of early. All right. 
All right, so uh, Molly, thank you for that information. Uh, I wanted to give Krista a chance to talk because uh, I know uh, there's things changing at Woodlawn, which is always a good thing to hear. Yeah. So we at Woodlawn are, um, we have been doing it for a long time, but you're gonna see us more out in the community. You're gonna see us um, everywhere, really. Uh, if, if you're in our service area, we hope to be seeing your face at a festival or um, health fair. We're going to um, definitely, we want to earn the right to care for our community because we're all in this together, but also for everyone's family and for themselves. Um, we're a local hospital and we're neighbors helping neighbors. So um, you're gonna see that a lot more out in the community as well. And I think that's great. I know uh, Brad spent uh, several months here talking about uh, the different things that you guys are doing going forward and uh, have continued to do and really kind of coming back full circle to make sure that uh, you are visiting the, the community and uh, being out there more because a lot of times people just go, oh, Woodlawn Hospital, I go there when I'm sick and you guys offer a lot more than just emergency care. Yeah, and actually while we have Molly here, there's something that we offer that's we're the only one in the state to have this machinery mm -hmm. as well. So while we have her here, do you mind sharing really briefly what you shared with me about um, the MRIs? Yeah, so we uh, purchased a new MRI scanner um, a few months ago and we were first in the state for the technology. It's called, um, it's, uh, they use air coils, so it's blanket coils instead of if anybody's had a MRI, you have to kind of put a cage around uh, the body part. So these are blankets. Um, so for people with back pain, if you can't lay on your back, you can lay on your side and they can put it over you. And it's a lot more comfortable for patients. It's faster, quieter. Um, MRIs are not very fun because it's a tight space. So it's you know important for that patient care and patient experience. Um, and the image quality is just outstanding. Um, I know when we first started scanning, uh, the radiologists were calling us and just you know, commenting on how great the quality was and how cool, you know, and excited they were to see it. So, yeah, we're excited about it, and you know, we'd love to get that out there so our patients know that they don't have to travel out of town to get you know the best quality um, imaging. So, yeah. Yeah, and that's uh, so one thing we've spent a lot of time talking is um, Woodlawn offers so much stuff that you really do not need to travel. I mean, you guys are stroke certified now. Um, you do so much with the heart that it's it's absolutely crazy. And you don't have to drive to Fort Wayne or South Bend for that care anymore. You can come right here to Woodlawn. And uh, I wanted to thank you guys for pushing forward through all of that. Thank you. Yeah, it's our pleasure. Thanks for having us. So um, take a moment and just kind of tell everybody to come out and see you at Woodlawn. Come out and see us at Woodlawn? That caught me off guard. So yes, to, especially to schedule your mammogram, you can call us at 574-224-1151. Um, we'll get you scheduled. Again, it's um, insurance pays for it annually, so um, we got to make sure that it's been a year since you've had it. Um, but we definitely want to get patients in and get them taken care of. If you have questions on services, call us. Um, they can call that same number, and we can transfer you to where you need to be if we can answer your question. And also, know that you have the option. If your doctor wants you to have an MRI and they suggest you go somewhere else, have them give Molly a call and see if that Molly can hand, and her team can handle it before traveling out. Um, I mean, we understand that sometimes we don't have the services, but always call us and check before you schedule that trip, you know, to Fort Wayne or to go an hour away. Absolutely. Yep. All right. It's all right here at Woodlawn where compassion and care me. Still like that saying, mm -hmm. and it's still true. And uh, Molly, real quick, uh, what are the hours that the uh, radiology department is open to uh, anybody? Um, so uh, the special modalities, um, ultrasound, MRI, mammography, are generally eight to four thirty. Um, CT and X-rays are open twenty four seven. So um, you know we take care of inpatients, ER patients. You know we provide that care as people come in. Um, and then for October, um, if we need to, we can open up some evening appointments and we're looking at maybe some Saturday mornings depending on how busy we get so we can get people in. And we can also, it also sometimes filters into the, you know, November, December, depending on our volumes, but we just really want to push and promote October because of the importance of breast cancer awareness. All right. Well, Molly, thank you very much. Krista, thank you very much. And again, welcome to Woodlawn. Thank you, guys. All thank right, you. We will uh, talk to everybody at Woodlawn again in a month. Thank you very much. County is now for Good job, ladies.